So we are standing inside the Bell Mansion. In the funeral home days, there was an estimated 300 to 500,000 bodies that came through here. These are original body fluids that you can see on the gurneys. There's been so much death here. Is that you on the stairs? The darker feeling spirits that hang out around this basement. Is there anybody down here? The spirits down here will get forceful, so I don't recommend that you stay down here alone. What the f was that? Is anybody here with us? There's another image. Blood. We, we think that they could have had some sort of rituals or, or what happened. You'll see them walking up the stairs. Did you just hear, did you hear that? Hear what? You didn't hear the... You didn't hear the footsteps on the, on, the, on the ceiling just now. The house was built in 1893 by Robert and Clara Bell. Robert was a senator, statesman, lawyer, but he made his fortune in natural gas. He passed away in 1901. Mrs. Bell sold the place in 1905 to the Noble family who made their fortune in lumber. They sold the home to the Klein family. They opened the funeral home in 27. The funeral home operated until 2016, and then it sat empty for two years, and in 2018, the Sturm family bought it, um, and they originally were going to turn it into a bed and breakfast. They ended up opening it for paranormal investigations and events, things like that, and it took off. This room gets a lot of activity. It was the original ballroom. If you play music anywhere between the early 1900s to the 1940s, we see a lot of activity. We get a lot of people dancing. REM pods will go off. Our most famous resident is Andy. Andy lives here in this little corner in here. He usually hangs out right inside the wall here. These are his toys. He loves to color and draw. He likes REM pods. He's, he's one of the several children that we have that run around here. We get a lot of full body apparitions in here. There was a public investigation a couple weeks ago. My coworker had come in. She saw somebody sitting on the bed and they were as opaque as we are. And she thought it was another one of our, the people that had paid to be here and she asked if he was doing okay and she was going to let him know that it was time to kind of wrap up. He stood up and walked through that wall. Here, Mr. Bell used to sit here. Um, this was one of his favorite spots in the house. The reason is because when you sit here, you can hear everything that goes on on the first floor. There's something about the acoustics. I'm not sure uh, what it is um, and we've all tried to figure it out. But um, you can hear things sitting here on the first floor that you can't if you were on the second floor. And so like this was his post spot and he sat here so often, even in the brief time, mind you, they lived here from 1893 until his death in 1901 and he wore this hand print, this spot on the rail, that's his hand spot. This room was the original servants' quarters. They had anywhere between up to four, I've heard up to six. I believe it's more around four women here at a time. And then there were some rooms on the second floor that could have housed more. The main spirit in here is Maria. She was the head maid. She was also Mr. Bell's favorite, if you catch my drift. She is very particular about how we speak of Mr. Bell. Um, she's very defensive of him. This bed is not original. None of the furniture in, in the building is original, but this is her bed, especially women. If they sit on the bed, uh, we've, we've had our hair pulled. We've, um, people have felt her grab their ankles and she'll pull them off. She will speak briefly to you and then, um, but she will get kind of agitated. But if she flips into Spanish, then she's done. So this room gets very dark. I don't want to say sinister, but it gets a very heavy, almost negative feel at night. I don't like to be in here after dark. And it's it's hard for me to get scared. I don't, I'm not an easily scared person. This room is not my favorite. If I do not have to be in here after dark, I'm, you won't find me here. In the funeral home days, there was an estimated 300 to 500,000 bodies that came through here. Some of them were shown here, some of them were not. Um, when the funeral home started, it was the only place in Allen County that offered embalming services. So a lot of people wanted to keep their loved ones at home so they could take their equipment to people's homes and, 
and work on them there. Um, and they also did things for other funeral homes. This table and that sink over there are original to the early funeral home days. That table um, came a little bit later, but that is original. And these gurneys as well. These are original body fluids that you can see on the gurneys. The most famous person uh, that we know of, that we have record of, that came through here was Homer Van Meter. He was John Dillinger's right-hand man. But when John Dillinger and Homer split up, Homer went up to St. Paul, Minneapolis, and he made a friend there. Unfortunately, that friend was an undercover dirty cop. And so uh, he was set up and they, they lit him up. And his brother, who was residing in Warsaw, had them bring Homer back here. And there's some pictures and the articles here. Um, the table that he's laying on right here is that one over there. If you lay on the table and talk or have, she could act like she's working on you, like embalming, um, you'll start getting activity and people will talk to you. It, I don't know whether it kind of brings up like the memories of the room or, or what, but um, we, we do see an uptick in activity with that. So this is the foyer um, or where they would have done like their formal entertaining. Um, if you weren't cool enough to be upstairs, then this is where they received you. Mr. Bell's office was in here. Um, clients would come in through the doors, they could wait out here, and then he would receive you in here. And then this is the most ornate fireplace in the house. He had these tiles hand painted. You could still feel the, uh, the brush strokes on them. Mr. Bell when he was a little bit younger and Mrs. Bell when she was a little bit younger. I don't get a whole lot in here. This room is pretty quiet. I'm not sure about my my co-workers in, in this room. Um, certain certain areas are, are hit or miss. I'll just I'll kind of have you take a peek in here. But this was where they did the funerals in the uh, after the 30s, after 36. This is one of the or the add-on. This was the functional part until 2016 but we are just now ripping up the carpet. We just got the last of it hauled out. I think it was today or yesterday. The new flooring should be in this weekend. So if you do come in here, just kind of be careful if anything is kind of down. This is our basement. We have a few residents down here. Um, Harold is one of them. I'll go over some stories about Harold upstairs, not down here. There is another man um, that he was like a maintenance man and he passed away and it was a violent death. I'm not sure what his name is, but he does get a little forceful. The spirits down here will get forceful, so I don't recommend that you stay down here alone. The main child that hangs out here is Samantha. She's small, she's about three years old and she was killed in a house fire. We put this dollhouse down here for her. Uh, it was donated a few months ago and we are working to get it wired up so that she can manipulate the lights and eventually we'd like to have a 24 hour live feed to see if she plays with things. But um, she's very, very particular and fond of red candy, especially the pull apart red Twizzlers and red Jolly Ranchers. We have laid several pieces, several items of those candies up here before and we'll go upstairs and a couple hours later we'll come back and they're gone. These boxes, unfortunately, and it's a fact of life, but back in the day, the mortality rate for infants and children was fairly high. These were one-time use boxes, but they would often be taken to the family's homes to pick up the, the children or the hospitals. Every once in a while, we do get a, a faint baby cry, and we believe it's from this box here. It belonged to baby girl Miller, and um, we're not sure how old she was, but there are still fluids in these in this box. So those boxes actually were used? Yes, okay. yes, they, they were absolutely used. They, there were children in them. The darker feeling spirits hang out around this basement, but if you come in here, it feels like there's a protective circle or something. This is the oldest uh, embalming table in Fort Wayne. It's very fragile, please don't sit on it. This room, we are not sure if it was it was likely a makeshift morgue. We found out that at one point, and I know Harold doesn't like it when I talk about it, we believe the nobles may have been involved, that or the Klein funeral home, but during the Prohibition era, this was a speakeasy and a brothel. We've had uh, spear box sessions and we get things like, help me, help me. One of my coworkers asked one time, who are you? And there was a clear voice that said, lady of the night. 
I have a thing with brothels. Do you? Isn't that right, India? Every place I go to that has a brothel. It just has a lot of look with the ladies. Yeah, I do. Yeah, um, we think a lot of the booze was kept in here. Um, Harold is very, very particular, and he will get, I don't want to say violent, but he will get very pushy. And he really does not like for us to talk about it. I, I feel like I violated something by talking about it, and I, I apologize. There are, there's a very intricate tunnel system under Fort Wayne. That's one of the entrances to the tunnel system. It connects the Masonic Lodge was that way, and then now there's the Masonic Lodge that way. We, we think that they could have had some sort of dealing, you know, we don't know whether it was like rituals or, or what happened, but there's some sort of connectivity between all of that. Um, and there's also, again, the bootlegging and, and things like that through these tunnels. Crates, um, body crates, unfortunately. I'm, I, I always hate seeing the small ones. Um, this box here, uh, they would, if your relative passed away, say in Florida, back in the day, the fastest way to get them home was by train. They would put them in something like this and then put that in a train box um, and bring you home that way. Um, well, I believe they did you just hear, Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. What is that? Hear what? You didn't hear the, you didn't hear the footsteps on the on the on the ceiling just now. Mm hmm You heard that? Mm hmm And bringing home that way, um, well, I believe they. Did you just hear? Did you hear that? Um, and bringing home that way, um, well, I believe they. Did you just hear? Did you hear that? Mm hmm What is that? Hear what? You didn't hear the, you didn't hear the footsteps on the on the on the ceiling just now. Mm hmm Let's. Let's come this way. That was so loud. My God. I'm getting... That gave me like some yeah. some like goosebumps there, how loud that was. I can't believe you didn't hear that. I, did, I wasn't really paying attention. Oh my God. What is that room above us? Um, that is the downstairs ballroom. The, the where they had the, the newer uh, funerals. Uh huh. So that's, that's what's above us. Cement floor. That was yeah. really loud. Um, yeah, I, I feel like I upset Harold and they're talking about that stuff, so. And then the last of my, like my, my normal tour, my major stories. This is, again, where the family could kind of come and, and hang out uh, to get away from the funeral. Um, bathrooms, men's bathroom, women's bathroom. You can see there's like a powder room, door, powder room, that door, and then a stall door. This has happened to me twice. Um, and I refuse to use these bathrooms anymore. I was down here doing my thing in that bathroom and I had both of these doors shut and I hear a <laughs> and then I hear that door. <laughs> they both flew open, they're kicked open and then something kicked in the stall door. I was the only person here in the mansion. I've never been able to get a, a uh, recording, I've never been able to get somebody to talk to me but when something like that happens that violently I don't really stick around, especially if I'm by myself. So we are standing inside the Bell Mansion in Fort Wayne, Indiana. This is a place that's extremely spooky. I'm super excited for tonight's investigation. Are you excited for this? I am very excited about this place. It is stunning on the inside and on the outside. I think it's one of the prettiest places we've ever investigated. And just walking in, I mean, the just the entryway just I just felt excited to be here. It doesn't feel scary to me right now. I know that might change throughout the night, but it's just, it's like my dream house. <laughs> I love this place, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. There has been lots of people who have come here, a lot of people that are known in the paranormal, and they've all had some really unique experiences here. Even some of the stuff that Jess was telling us about during the interview, it's kind of spooky actually, you know, especially right behind us in this wall right behind us. That's the basement and there's literally children coffins in there. When we were doing our interview, I'm not really sure at this time if the audio was picked up, but when Jess and I were talking at the very end of our interview, we heard like footsteps pounding after she had mentioned yeah. something that would kind of keep hush about this place. I went upstairs afterwards and I checked and I didn't, um, there wasn't anybody here, so that was weird. I, I was I was too busy looking at the camera that I didn't hear it, but I'm sure the microphone will have picked it up. I hope so. All right, well, why don't we say we start on the very top third floor and work our way down, but let's do a walkthrough 
uh, with Ghost Tube. We haven't done that in a while. Let's just try to get a feel of the energy of this place because I think what she had told us during the interview was that there was about uh, almost half a million bodies that have been through this building. So there's been so much death here. I'm really curious to see what Ghost Tube says while we're here tonight. So let's do a walkthrough and kind of get a feel of where we want to start our investigation. Okay. Okay, so we're up on the third floor. We're gonna walk around the house and see if we can get anything relevant or just anything really come through on Ghost Tube. There's, if you think about 300,000 to 500,000 bodies, that's a lot of people that could be here. So um, yeah, let's just see what we get and go with it. Residents of the Bell Mansion, my name is India and this is Connor. And we know that a lot of people come here to talk to you. And we are also here to talk with you tonight. If anybody feels like talking, we'd really love to know who you are and what you're doing here. Why are you here? We heard that there is a child spirit that likes to play with the toys right there on the floor. We've got a toy in our hand that you can use to talk to us and tell us which one of those are your favorite toys. I love dinosaurs. It's really hot on this floor. Yeah. I wonder if the ghost like, nah, it's too hot. I'm not coming up here. Hello? Is it okay if we come into your bedroom for a little bit? This floor seems a little quiet. Yeah, well, why don't we go down to... The next floor. Yeah. All right, we're on the second floor now. This floor is extremely spooky to me. And it's spooky because there is an embalming room. Is anybody here with us? Can you let us know, please? And we're walking into the embalming room right now where there was a famous American gangster by the name of Homer Van Meter, whose body was literally on this morgue table. Homer, we heard that you like to talk to people in this room and that you're a nice guy. We heard you try to be friends with somebody and they kind of betrayed you. They were an undercover dirty cop. Are you here with us tonight? There's a device next to India you can use to talk to us. We heard you knew Don John Dillinger. Is that true? Is there anybody here? Anybody want to play? We have some toys you can play with, but you have to let us know. Is Mr. and Mrs. Bell here? Mrs. Bell, we heard this is your room. What about Mr. Bell, are you here? What's crazy though is there's some original carpet is on the floor. It's all got plastic over it so they can try to preserve it. So they get plexiglass glass and it matches the original wallpaper that's still on the wall. So imagine how much, how many conversations and fights and energy that that thing witnessed when it, when Mr. Bell and Mrs. Bell lived here. Is there anyone here? It is. That's two floors. It's been quiet on now. All right, we're going down to the first floor now, since the third and second floor had nothing going on. How are you? Oh, now it says something. How are you? First time it works. First floor. I'm doing good. Who's asking? 
speak. Speak? I am speaking. I'm, I'm asking you a question here. I wonder if they can't hear us. Can you hear us? Can you tell us your name? India, what's really weird about this room is earlier today, when I was filming some B-roll in this room, I heard, this sounds funny, as a disembodied REM pod. I heard a disembodied REM pod noise in here, like, you know, when you tap the antenna. Real. Just said real. It was, how was that a real REM pod? There wasn't a real REM pod in here, if you're talking about that. It sounded like there was a real REM pod in here because I was, it, like when you tap the antenna, it's like beep, 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 beep. It sounds like that, but I asked- Maybe they're asking for the real thing. Janet. Janet? Is that what it said? Yeah, Janet. Hi, Janet. Janet, are you asking for a REM pod? Is that the easiest way for you to communicate? What's crazy though, is that there could be so many names here because so many people came through this building. She also said about this room that um, they've been getting weird spirits that aren't usually here because of the floor being torn up or something. Yeah, from renovations? Yeah. Yes or no? Is Janet a spirit here? Can you tell me yes or no through this device? What was that? Wait, what was that? It was out there. Hello? That's mine. What's, what's yours? What are you talking about? Can you tell us what you're talking about? What's yours? The activity seems to be on this floor at the minute. I think it might be a good time to do an Estes, maybe in that room. Do an Estes? Yeah, see if we can maybe find out who Janet is. Let's uh, do an Estes session. Getting ready to set up for our Estes session. I just realized going downstairs to get new batteries for India's headset for the Estes session that there are no more nine volt batteries. So I made the big error of not bringing nine volt batteries. So we can't run a REM, REM pod right now for this Estes session, but however, we are running four cat balls. One, two, three, and four right next to India. India is going to be wearing noise canceling headphones. I'm going to be asking the questions. She's going to be listening to a spear box. Anything that she hears, she is going to speak out loud. Hopefully we can communicate with someone. And if there is really a spirit named Janet, when we were walking through here in ghost tube, it seems like this floor is more active when we are running ghost tube. Um, we can hopefully communicate with Janet and get to know more about her story because keep in mind here, there's almost half a million people who came through this building, the bodies. So there could definitely have been a Janet that was on the other side of this wall. So we're gonna do an Estes session right now. All right, my name is Connor. And that's India over there. We just came- I was trying to respond. We weren't sure if I'm that... stuck. You're stuck? Is there something that we can do to help you? Why are you stuck? Bullsh Somebody seems a little upset. Just wanna let you spirits know to hear of the Bell Mansion that there are four little balls around India. 
that if you go near those, they light up and let us know that you're present. We'll be able to see it. Feel free to do that, okay? Is there a spirit named Janet here? When I was in this room earlier today, I heard what sounded like the REM pod going off. Were you mimicking what a REM pod sounds like? You're welcome. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you. Right there is going off. Thank you, I appreciate you doing that. That isn't. To the. Oh my God, the, the toilet just made a noise just now. Okay, like water running, that, that sound with the toilet flushing, that scared the crap out of me. Thank you for lighting up that cat bowl. Bye-bye. Can you tell me who just lit up that cat bowl right there? What's your name? You're investigators. <laughs> yes, that's funny. Yes, we are. We're here to document our experiences with you guys, with spirits. I take it you've talked to other investigators before? How many spirits are here right now? Pick me up. You sound like a child spirit that wants to get picked up. Are you a child spirit? Are you a little kid? If you are a little kid, we do have some cat balls right there you can roll. Can you light those cat balls up? Somebody else did a few minutes ago. If that was you, you're more than welcome Questions. to Questions. You want some questions? I'm Connor. Who are you? Not alone. Can you tell us who's with you? Absolutely. Oh my God. Okay. So who's with you then? What are you looking at? Um, I'm looking at India. Who are you looking at? Go to school. You're all right. Is this someone having a conversation with somebody else? Do you like communicating with people here? Do you like communicating with investigators? Here. Yeah, here. That for a second, I thought I heard footsteps in this room. This section of the room. But India's spirit box is so loud that it could be that. Yeah, here. That for a second, I thought I heard footsteps in this room. Yeah, here. Oh my God. I just saw, I just saw something over here in the stairs with my own eyes. I wasn't even looking at the camera. It could have been want something from the window over here shining, but I literally looked that way. It just so happened to look behind me and I saw something go like this, black out that area. Hello?
You have. You have what? Three. Oh my God. You're hot. Why is the ground shaking? That's me asking that. Somebody back there? I literally just heard something move back there. God, that scared the crap out of me. Somebody back here? Hello? Oh my God, dude, that sounded like something clinged back here. My back is facing this door. <laughs> Somebody over here? Oh my God. Okay. Dude, that scared the freaking crap out of me. Was that you I just heard? You notice how the cat ball hasn't gone off? It's only that one time it went off when she said welcome. That's why those are amazing. Are you still here? You'll see him walking up the stairs. Oh my God, something just touched my butt. Dude, I'm not, I'm tripping so hard right now. And India just said, you'll see him upstairs. Oh my God, that goes up to the second floor. This is freaking crazy. I literally just had my butt touched. Did somebody just touch me? Guys, I'm not joking you. I literally just had my left butt cheek just touched and then she said you'll see him upstairs when i looked back there when i was filming india i saw like a black i couldn't even see what it was like a solid mass go across this way from left to right and then i heard that freaking clinging noise and now she's saying you'll see him upstairs who will we see upstairs I'm so freaked out to keep looking back. So like, there- Leave. Why do you want me to leave? Why do you want me to leave? I was trying to say there's red lights so you can kind of see the one in there shimmer. Like that thing glowing back there. And that's how I was giving off some light. Because other than that, this is what I see. I can't see anything. Who's telling us to leave? Think. You trying to tell me I need to think about it? Something clicked in here, but that could be just those lights right there. Are you Mr. Bell? I, I don't know who you are. She'll be here. Who is she that will be here? Freaking bathroom, dude. Bathroom just started doing that water crap again, so it must be something natural. <sighs> God, I'm so skittish from getting my butt touched and seeing that thing, and hearing that noise. Basement. So the one place we did not go to in our walkthrough 
is the basement and the basement is literally really creepy and she said basement like it's basically like they're trying to say go to the basement i think i'm gonna stop india from the estes session and i guess we're gonna go to the basement because nothing else seems to be going through only a few minutes until i just spoke there's only a few minutes left in my camera there's literally to show you on the video on this phone hold on pulling out my cell phone there's literally only six minutes left right now on my camera i'm gonna have to stop this recording put a new battery in here and we're gonna have to go to the basement because there isn't really much else going through and the basement's a really creepy place so I guess here we go. Basement we go. Okay, so we're in the basement. We just finished the Estes session. And the last thing that she really said was basement. Guess who's in the basement? Connor is not happy about him doing a solo, but this is the area where we were told there's a lady of the night. I didn't, I mean, I didn't know that you got your butt touched. I didn't know that. And at the same time, I said, you're hot, which is weird. So I just feel that she wants you down here. And I did not expect this to happen at a funeral home, but it's worth a try. And you might not even run into the lady of the night. It might be somebody else completely, but you think I'm being mean to you, but it, the, I didn't choose you. You were chosen upstairs. I was chosen. Well, I get to do a solo session is what she's pretty much getting at here in this little room that if you say it used to be a, um, a bee, um, this stirs up activity. A brothel on a speakeasy. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. So I'm going to be down here by myself in the basement. Thanks, India. All right. I didn't, I, you should be thanking the ghost, not no me. More, I haven't got anything to do with it. No you. more than 15 minutes. I swear all the ghosts at every location know each other and they all start joking around and they're like, hey, do you know this Connor Biddle guy? He, it's like a running joke now. I swear they're in on the joke. I bring all the ghosts to the yard yeah. and they're okay. like, Let's do booyah. It. All right, here we go. All right. Well, my name is Connor and I just had my butt touched upstairs. The last thing that India said during our Estes session was basement. Here I am in the basement. I've got several devices you can use to communicate with me. There are a few light cat balls outside this room. I've also got a device called Ghost Tube. You can use it to tell me things and say what you want or whatever. I'm here simply just to communicate. Invisible. Invisible. They do say that ghosts are like invisible. I definitely did not see who touched my butt upstairs. I heard some laughing, but I think that's from the outside. Somebody outside is laughing. I hope that's somebody outside laughing because that was really creepy. That is people outside. Okay. Phew. So I, I heard this area was like a speakeasy slash brothel. Am I allowed to talk about that or no? You can tell me maybe one of the names of any of the women if they were down here through this device. What do you want to tell me? If you can't use any of these devices, then I have this in my hand where you can also just talk and I should be able to hear your voice later. Is there anybody down here? What was that? I heard a noise out there. Who are you? Is there somebody outside the room? I'm hearing like 
like something crunching or moving. It's got to be natural noise. What the f was that? Up here. Up here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, my soul left my body just now. Something turned on out there, I think, is what that noise was, but holy shit, that scared me. I think I set the cap all off. Up here? Where? Is there anybody down here? I left that room back there. Is there a little child down here? I heard that she likes to play with that dollhouse over there and likes red candy. It's like a squealing noise from, I think, the, the con air conditioner or something on. So it's been kind of hard to cut the audio out of that, but hopefully it's not terribly loud. What was that? Hello? I heard a whistle. I heard you if you did that. Somebody touched my butt up. I think that was the thing stopping. Somebody said there was a brothel and speakeasy down here. I've got some money. Will I have you come out and talk if I bring out some money? I'm already down in this basement, so whatever. I'm just gonna move this camera over here and we're gonna do a quick little sear session holding it in my hand. See what kind of images can get drawn here, down here while I'm down here. Set this camera up right here. Well, I have a device down here in my hand on my lap called Sear. You can use that to draw images. Could you do that for me? Can you draw what you look like? Maybe if you can draw what that little girl looks like that is said to take red candy down here. There's an image of flowers. I think those are flowers. That is, that is something that is relevant to a uh, place like this though. I'm about to leave the basement. Can you draw me one last image and show me something you want me to know? Oh my God. I don't know if that picture is kind looking, but it's kind of freaky. I appreciate you showing me that though. Okay, I'm gonna get out of the basement. I've been down here more than 15 minutes, quite a long time. Um, that Siri image I just got was actually really weird. Um, I don't know how to make of that. Uh, I don't know if I've caught any audio, but I literally left that little room that India left me in and I'm sitting out here in the open and it's really freaky. So I think I'm going to get out of here. My solo is done and I think now is the time for India to do her solo. Okay, so I just got done with my solo session in the basement. It is now India's turn for her solo session. She is here on the first floor, the staircase. Why are you here on the staircase? I am here on the staircase because um, during the Esther session, I heard it say, you will see them walking up the stairs or something to that effect. So, and this area seems to be where we've had activity. 
So what I'm gonna do is put on my Lucid headphones, um, listen to see if I can hear anything, any voices or anything like that. I do have a voice recorder on the chair next to me to see if, uh, if I hear something, if that will pick it up. The only thing is the air conditioning is on right now, so that should only take a few minutes to kick off, but um, hopefully we'll get something. You also got capels going down the stairs over here on each step, so if anybody does go up or down the stairs, hopefully you should see the capels go off. All right, well, I'm gonna leave you to it. Good luck. is going off. I can't tell which one. Is that you on the stairs? It's okay to approach. My name is India. Can you tell me what your name is, please? And to the little, if you could speak near the orange light on the chair next to me. Could you make that ball light up again, please? If you're on the stairs, could you light one of those balls up? Thank you. Could you step away now? Thank you. Could you do it one more time? Thank you. And step away. Okay, the air conditioning's gone off, so. My name is India, can you tell me what your name is, please? Cat ball's still going off, so what I'm gonna do is take this cat ball away. So I've taken the cat ball away um, just to see if another one will go off. Can you tell me how old you are? I know this is probably was your final stop for your body when you were here on earth. Can you tell me why you passed away? Only if you want to, you don't have to. Okay, so I'm going to end the session. Okay, so right now we are in the embalming room. Connor is going to wear the ghost tube lenses. He's going to lie on the embalming table. I'm going to run Vox. We're going to see if we can maybe talk to Homer Van Meter, who was a friend of John Dillinger, or anybody else that might be here. So, Connor. This table I'm laying on right now is the exact same table that Homer laid on, which is really weird and morbid at the same time, but. I'm gonna go ahead and turn Vox on. Oh my God, I feel so strange laying on this. Is anybody here to help me out? Is Homer here? You play a very good dead body. Thanks. <laughs> What's your name? Is anybody here? Can you show us something that you would like for us to see? Who's on the table? Do you know the man on the table? How did Homer die? Can you show us? You see, 
There's an image. There is blood. What is it? There is blood everywhere. India. Yeah. There is blood. And it looks like there's stuff that has blood on it. And there's an... Oh my god. Homer died to gunshots. Yeah, his body looks pretty bloody in the photograph that's over there. Is this Homer? Are you John Dillinger's friend? Can you show Connor something else that's relevant to you? Uh. Did I say Connor? It sounds something. There's another image. Blood. More blood? More blood. I don't know what that is. It's right here. Can't, I can't tell what that is, but it's on something white. But there's, <laughs> there's blood. More blood. This is really weird. Are you showing us what happened to your body or what used to happen in this room? Putting it by your head. Did you work here? What do you want? We just want to know who's here and if they know if they would like to talk to us or not. Is there a mortician here that can help me work on this body? Another image. It's bodies, it's people in crowds, but they're, you can't see all of them. They're in a white room and there's a crowd of people, like they're like ghosts or something. Are those, are you showing us all the bodies that came through here, came through this room? Do you want to switch and see if that does anything? You can try if you want. Okay. Can you tell me the name of any of the bodies that laid on this, this embalming table? It's actually quite comfy. Not all of us. Not all of us? They can't tell you the name of all of them. Well, that's okay if you can't tell all, tell us all of you. I'm sure there's a lot of bodies that lay on here. Can you tell me one of the names? There's an image coming through. It looks like a woman in a white veil is what it looks like. She's got no face. Really? Well, I, I don't know if it's a woman, but it looks like, imagine a woman in a wedding dress, but got a, a white veil on both sides coming down, but there's no face. Is that you that India is seeing right now? That was kind of spooky. Yeah. It's very relevant to hear. You guys still around here to talk? Maybe the spirit that was talking during our Estes session, if you're here. We are in the embalming room. Grandmother. Grandmother? Sure, there was many grandmas that came through this room. What is that grandmother's name? What was that? What? Did you hear a man's voice? No. Did you hear a man's voice? Yeah. Did India just hear your voice? All right, I'm gonna stop this. Ooh. Asia. <gasps> Asia? No way. Yeah, I said Asia. That's your sister, India. Yeah. Uh, for those who don't know, I have a sister called Asia. That's freaking weird. How do you know about Asia? Wait till I tell Asia about this. This is, a, that's weird. How do you know Asia? You, you, can you see it inside my head? I've never heard it say any country, never mind Asia. Well, well, that's a continent. I've never heard it say any location, I should say, like a country or a continent. Yeah, and plus Asia, obviously is your sister. Sure. What's really weird though is it said something very personal to you, about you. Who are you? Do we know you?
All right, India, so we just got done doing that ghost of lens in the embalming room. It ended very strange, where it said your sister's name. It's just really weird. What do you think about this investigation here at the Bell Mansion? It certainly seems to have something here. I thought that that was really strange that I said your heart the minute that you, you got touched. But it was also really weird because like, it's really hard to convince people that watch my our experiences like yeah this is authentic but you i mean obviously there's no way to really tell like oh yeah his butt cheek really did get touched but also to me seeing something moving on the stairs in the dark i just saw i just saw something over here in the stairs and then i hearing a noise outside that room and then having my butt touched in the same area facing that way but what the coolest part i liked about the yes session was when the cap all went off and you said you're welcome i thought that was really cool because it's like well i basically asked it to light up the cap all and it did just want to let you spirits know to hear of the bell mansion that there are two four little balls around india that if you go near those they light up and let us know that you're present we'll be able to see it feel free to do that okay the cap all you're welcome <gasps> Oh my God, thank you, thank you. And then you basically politely said, you're welcome. Like a very polite ghost of some sort. I don't know if that was polite or if it was sarcastic, cause I did hear a couple of swear words come through. And I mean, I get it. Like these people might be angry that they passed away. I'm sure some of them are angry. Like we've said the whole night with that many bodies coming through here, you could have anybody in here. So I think we experienced um, some strange things and I think if we came back we would probably experience some a whole other different kind of activity so yeah it was definitely an interesting night and I would definitely come back and do another investigation if you are new here to this YouTube channel make sure you hit that subscribe button not only that but turn on all bell notifications so you never miss an episode to our show make sure you you hit that like button leave a comment what was your favorite part about this video and what we experienced here tonight we will see everybody in the next episode of paranormal encounters